<laughs> Thank you so much. Is this your first film? No. What? Yeah. <laughs> um, I studied cinema and television in high school for about four years, so it wasn't my first one, but it was my first one alone. Totally alone. And, well, I mean, there's him, but... <laughs> totally alone. Mostly mm -hmm. alone. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? I don't know. Want to play a game? Chess. <laughs> what was the inspiration behind it? Uh, this is going to be kind of disappointing, but ah. I just thought of it. I kind of was just sitting and I was like, imagine if we played chess and it started out like really chill and then it just like built up and then, you know, like then he wants to play again. Like we didn't think we would, we were going to like Th it. No, that is cool because sometimes that you got idea. <laughs> sometimes when you have a hard time coming up with an idea, you think of a location. Yeah. And a location is character, by the way, and that sparks an idea. So you think of uh, just in a room playing chess, yeah. done. Yeah. I mean, is it going to be like, you know? Emo? Is it going to be haunting? Is it going to be angsty? Yeah. Is it, what is it going to be? Well, the funny thing was, it sounded so much simpler in my head. But then and you wanted then, to get in there and get the... Yeah, I wanted the continuity and I was like, oh no. <laughs> so oh. we had to go on Wikipedia and find like a full chess game because I didn't want... There were a couple of mistakes, but I wanted it to like, I wanted to film every angle the whole game. Yeah. And that didn't really work, so there were a couple errors there, but uh, it took way longer than I was expecting. <laughs> well, I mean, you wanted to be true to the game, and yeah, I, exactly. I appreciate that. Like, I've done a lot of chess movies, and I just, it's all over the place. I don't care. <laughs> like, I, I think I know how to play chess. I'm just like, whatever, it looks cool. But good for you yeah, for I keeping think it real. I may have cared a little bit too much, but it, I think it worked out. <laughs> Do you play chess? Like, a lot. No. no? Me neither. Not I don't know. I played yeah. once, and I lost. I'm like, screw yeah. that. This game sucks. I'm going home. <laughs> Check. What was the most challenging part? Uh, it will, well, first of all, it was like the whole chess thing with the continuity, but also working with siblings. You know, like this is my brother, and that was my sister, yeah. and uh, she didn't, especially Vanessa. They don't listen. Well, that, but they don't she have didn't. No respect. She was so excited to do it, and then once we had to do it a second time, and we had to do it a third time, and a fourth time, she was like, uh uh. So my mom had to get in there and be like, come on, like, oh, you wow. can do it. And yeah, I should have given her credit, but, you know. <laughs> 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 it was pretty helpful. <laughs> but that's what we do when we start sometimes, we're a bit insecure, so we work with our friends. Yeah. And, and then after a while, we realize that they don't have the same commitment actors do. Yeah. You know, actors put up with a lot more abuse from us, so hey. <laughs> you can work with actors next. Uh, we'll see. Oh, you got I, uh, I have to find an idea first. <laughs> uh, think of a location first, if that helps, because yeah. it seems to be the that's way you a, think. That's a good so, plan. For example, yeah. think of a washroom. Yeah. Okay, and now think of a, a genre. Is it going to be scary, or is it going to be funny? I'm sure you're coming up with ideas right now. Yeah, it, Done? That, that helps, yeah. Well, no. So the next series, next one's going to be in the washroom. Well, we'll see. <laughs> hey, can I play with you guys? No. no. Mom, they're not letting me play with them. Nice. And do you have a macro lens? No. no. That's a lens that, as you know, shoots really up close. I don't have a macro lens, but the one I'm using is a uh, zoom lens, so it's it has like a macro. It does. Yeah. Because, yeah, when you get up close with the chest pieces, you can be yeah. really dramatic with them yeah. in slow motion. Yeah, I don't That's know awesome. if I had any in there or not. I think I tried and it just didn't end up working, but... Did you edit yourself? Yeah. What do you use to edit with? iMovie. There you go. <laughs> iMovie yeah. works. It's uh, yeah. no... Fun. Yeah, you can't just, really fail with just it. Just film something and make a film. Like, ah, oh, like, you know. Yeah. Anyone can learn to edit, but you, you, you did this in high school, so... Yeah, yeah. Are you, like, encouraged to do more now? Yeah, definitely. I think I need to let him exercise a bit his like uh, creative muscles because I kind of took over on this one and it was yeah. kind of supposed to be both of us. I'm not like that with other people, just my siblings, I yeah. promise. <laughs> but did you give him credit? I did, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I even gave him an assistant director credit when... There you, you go. Know. He didn't do <laughs> assistant director. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much for coming Thank on you. stage. Thank you. You're amazing. Thank you. You're awesome. Lack of planning and preparation. Oh. Um, there's, an old, there's an old army saying of um, uh, seven Ps, which I've forgotten it now, but uh, prior preparation and planning prevents piss poor performance. And I, you know, you might you might get this. You have all these ideas whizzing around your head, and you put it off, and you put it off, and you put it off. And I did it on Sunday afternoon. 
because um, I'd put off all the other ideas that needed other people. Um, and as you said earlier, like it's a team sport, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, I just put it off getting around to speaking to people, say, hey, can we come and do this? Until it was too late, and so I thought, okay, that's all I've got. What do I write about? How do I describe any of this stuff? Did you do the camera in some scenes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I just, I, you can tell I was selfieing it. That was actually pretty good because it added to the uh, intimacy of the movie. You know, when you have the camera on you and you're running and things like that, it, it's really, it's something. It's effective. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, uh, did you fill? There. Did you fill the hole back? No. Or is it still? No, it's no, still there. I'm waiting for it. So, so you're waiting to invite in. me over, and then you're gonna no, put well, me Stephanie in. Well, Stephanie bugged me to do a horror movie, so I'm thinking <laughs> there's a big grave-sized hole there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if you can wait, not be tired of waiting, or being lied about, don't deal in lies, or being hated. So you make a lot of these films, these themes. How would I say it? It's like a, a war theme. Yeah, I mean, like. How uh, would you describe your genre? War. I mean, I, I know about war, right? Yeah. I've, yeah, I was in the military for years. I've been to war like, four times now. Yeah. Um, five, sorry, five. Oh. Once as a contractor. Um, and so I figure there's, there's, there's stories there, and the, you know, I, the theme, it, it is, uh, it's monotony. It's bloody boring. Mm. It go, it's not like the movies. Um, but then you get this tiny, tiny flash of sheer terror, mm. um, and that's it. It's over. Um, and in many cases, with veterans, it, it scars them for like for years. That tiny little um, wow. slice of time. So, so that's, that, those are the films I do. Films about humanity. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's people, right? Um, I mean, it's it's a nasty thing. Uh, with worn-out tools, if you can make one heap of all your winnings. Wow, amazing. Thank you. And and you make films quite frequently on the I'm, subject. I'm trying so, to. Yeah. I'm trying to. Um, I'm. I, I suck as, as a director. I love the production, mm -hmm. the, the props, uh, yeah, yeah. the firearm side of it, yeah. and the set dressing. That's my thing. Well, please stay. Keep doing it. Stick oh, at well, it. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's, it's your, your presence in the Ottawa film community. Yeah. You know, we know you. We know Danny Crossman. We I know, know Danny Crossman. Project because you're so good. For what? I don't know. Project. Oh, we... project. Cool. They said, like, for your jacket. I was no. like, I'm wearing a jacket. I don't know. Man. Jesse's so awesome. Thank you so much for being the biggest supporter. I am. You're the best. I love Kino. Yes. You said after being part of other communities, you found a home here. Yes, yes. And yeah, that got me going. I'm just going to be honest. I was like, like nothing. <laughs> I get something in my eye. So, uh, where did you shoot this? My basement. Really? You just put drapes all over the place? I have a lot of crap in my house. So I took all of my black fabrics and my white fabrics, separated my basement into heaven and hell and took out whatever props and decorations I had laying around. I made fluff, you can't really see though, but like I had like clouds lit up in the heavens and it was so pretty. It was pretty. How'd you light it? Cause it was so bright. Light? Just... <laughs> we had like those little twinkling lights. We could have a club. A club? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Like what kind of club? Oh don't you know? Don't be nervous. They're all drunk at this point. <laughs> uh, we used uh, some LED panels that I brought from home. That's what it was. That, uh, that's what it was. It was it was pretty evenly lit, and that I think that's what's important for this particular scene to be evenly lit, like everywhere white. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just like a heaven. Just yes. like a heaven. What was the most challenging part of this film? Working with me. Uh, no, 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 it was amazing. Uh, the the distance that we had. Um, so when we were doing the, the scenes in hell, we barely had enough space to, for everyone, and I it tried to tight. have everyone be on camera. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and uh, I only have one lens. You had an accent. <laughs> we're gonna have to come up with a hell of a good alibi. You're making a monster pool. Oh my god. I, I can't even like. Monster think pool it. is a yearly horror festival. It's gonna be like amazing and gross and scary and like terrifying. No. No. It'll be amazing. It'll be amazing. But I didn't go like the gory side of things. 
but it's my best work yet. The sound's on, yes. the camera's on. I had Ramanash be my cinematographer. I don't know if you know who that is, but an yeah. incredible genius. Yeah. I'm so excited. He's and we had Brian too, and they had Brian. the same cameras. I had two cameras, and I had amazing sound, and there's lights, and there's action, and there's like, yeah. <laughs> you gotta see it. Right, that's the energy we need. Brian, I don't know you, but I love you. Don't make it weird. So we screen this shit at the Mayfair. It's gonna be great. We yes. Dress up. Oh yeah, we decided it's a costume party. That was her idea. We forgot to tell you, sorry. <laughs> Ah, well, these things do happen. Yeah, yet, fear not. I have created a wonderful opportunity for all of you. I have been teaching myself how to edit. I did color correction on this one. That's why the whites were so pristine. <laughs> the world is endless of possibilities when you get the buttons and the free things you can download. And it's like, I was like, oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> she edits. Yeah, I, I yeah. Wait till you see my monster collection. What? Ugh. Yeah, so the opener and the end credits, I just put it together. I YouTube is your friend, and I'm literally like, how do you stop the shaky cameraness? And Google understands me, and then I watch a video, and I'm like, I can do that. Yeah, that's that's what I do. It's amazing never stop, and we keep growing, we keep learning, we keep trying, I don't want to say better, but we evolve into different aspects oh, of ourselves. Oh, it's definitely better. Wow. <laughs> we technically, we learn to become better, but there reaches a point where creatively and artistically we want to try different things, so we're all over the place. Yes. So maybe you'll get there one day and you'll be like, I need to do some super artsy fartsy stuff like Vincent Valentino to feed my I'm soul. Not, I'm not, I'm more like a storyteller, like I'm not, you know like the, the crow from Adam and you guys, like you guys do all these artsy things. Artsy that, things. I'm, I'm more like, I'm trying to tell a story and I'm more like direct with it. Yeah. Like you can tell, right? Like it's, oh, it's no, it's different. good, it's good. And you're funny. <laughs> Funny looking. No, come on, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta be on camera next time. I usually am. This is yeah. the first time I wasn't on I camera. I noticed that, yeah. Well, and it was, for a oh, I was. Yeah. I kind of step in where I needed. But it was a lot easier to direct and like have my eyes on it and be like, no, yes, do it again. It's perfect. Like, it was a lot easier not to be on camera. Do you prefer being behind the camera or in front of the camera? I'm a performer. Yes. Aren't but I love to tell stories, though. It's conflicting. Uh, no. But you get to a point sometime, like, I've done a lot of films, and you get to a point where you can do both. If you just lower your standards, I mean, that's just be honest. <laughs> <laughs> my mother says, keep up my standards. Yes. Uh, it's just a fun film. I don't have kids, so it's my way of trying to understand what parenthood is all about. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how accurate I was, but I tried my best. That was fun. It was fun. What was the most challenging and most frustrating part of making this? I just couldn't get the performance I wanted out of the doll. I was just like, you know, just show me more emotion. And I just couldn't communicate with it. It was so stiff. Whereas... I really don't care if I'm not your father. With my other cast members, Fatuma and Deep, they did an amazing job. But that doll, such a diva. No, it's too much. No. Never <laughs> Not blacklisted. recommended, yeah. They asked me to help, and, and it was really, it's their film, so can I? Yes. <laughs> Give it to Mark. Oh, okay. Uh, Mark, I love you. You know that, right? Love you too. Oh, the, the people. It was like, uh, it was fun. It was a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, everybody's super into it. Um, and it was it, kind of like family, only not as messed up as my family. So Mark and I were saying that we keep getting cast in things like, you know, the grandmother and the grandfather <laughs> and nice people. And we said, you know, sometimes the way you look and the way you act, I mean, that's just who you get cast. And I said, yeah, it's like in my life. You know, I can return anything to a store without a receipt. <laughs> Why, thank you, madame. Oh, I love these cups. I know, right? I'm sure the church won't even miss them. Why don't we make a film where these people seem like really nice people, but there's something happening, like killing them, killing your neighbor and blaming it on the poor little gardener. No, I've never shopped there in my life. Oh my God, how much? <laughs> oh, no, that's crazy. No, that was definitely not me. You, you too, you make Sony films. It's like you're always on set doing something. And has it enriched your life? Has it eased the loneliness? These are tough questions we want to know. <laughs> 
Is Vincent, it? you're making it weird. Is it? Because we get older, we retire, we look for a community sometimes. Is Does this fill the void? <laughs> it fills a void I didn't know was there. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's, we could talk it out, Mark. Let's talk it out. Uh, yeah, I did retire five years ago, and I just wanted to write, and then writing led. I accidentally started acting, and then, um, yeah, just keeping busy and who know who knew this whole world existed all of you people making films it's awesome it's just awesome um, yeah I, I, it was better than I imagined I love it nice one last question for me. where did you get this ring I told you Ben Jessica tell him oh, what does it matter where she got the ring because Mrs. McNear had a ring just like that <laughs> what's next for you um can I promote another festival? Yeah, let's okay. sure. Do it. Uh, uh, Digi60. Digi60 is yep. launching October 1st. So yep. I'm the director of equity, equity initiatives for Digi60, and our festival is, is like it launches October 1st for registered filmmakers, and then the festival itself is December um, 16th to 18th. So we'll have a lot of professional development. And so this is what I'm working on right now. Uh, I actually, and I also have a TV show in pre-development. So I'm working on that like a lot of the time wow. right now. So festivals like this and Digi60, you know, you meet people, you network, and things can happen. So first time ever. Do we all remember his film? Yeah. He's like wax on, wax off. Yeah. That's the W. You take the L while you drink like a fool. You did a lot of slam and poetry when you first Correct. Started. Yeah. Yeah, and that's where we met. Well, not that I was doing it, but you know, I used to recite really sappy poetry 25 years ago at Rasputin's. <laughs> really like like really emo poetry with like old people open mic is awesome just go there and do stuff all right so i digress wax on wax off wax on wax off what did you learn while making this any life lessons or things about the video itself uh well the theme is the monotony and mayhem right so basically it fit the theme and i figured you know why not take a crack at it you know it wasn't what, initially but like, what did you learn what did, you learn? did you learn patience Patience, you know, Patience. just gotta be consistent, you know. Did you learn that things often doesn't turn out the way you think in your head? Um, you know, things happen, you know, you can't control the uncontrollable at the end of the day, you know, we're all moving parts and at the end of the day, like, things change in a whim, you know, uh, things go un unplanned, you know, yes. so to speak, and yeah. They make a show about you, but I'm still a rat, always cool. Wax on, wax off. Wow, that was really fun when you do one again. Oh, absolutely, 100%. So, do you come up with the song first, then you have visuals in your head? Um, that's a good question. Uh, it depends. It depends on the song. Because the older music videos I done, it was more pre-planned. This was more like for fun, for the TikTok, you know, just for fun. Yeah, this is your picture. That's you just drew his caricature like live on stage? Yeah, I was that's that that yours. They dear candy. Happy, Happy birthday to you. I'm not going to say your age. No. Uh, 32, right? 21. 21. Ah, of course. Of course. So you, you've been singing for a while. Yes. That is something else. So this was yes. your first dance video. On my own, yes. That was amazing. It takes, yes. I just want to say it takes a lot of courage to make a and dance time. video. And time. Yeah. And time. Moving, but I can't feel the ground. Said you did not want to see it. No, I didn't see screen. it. No, I didn't. Do you like how it turned out? I do. Oh. Yes. You're just in your own zone, mm. so you're not really thinking of anybody else except for what you're doing. Oh, that's interesting. No. It's like a freedom almost. You know, like you don't think of anything other than what you are doing right in front of you. That's amazing. I think so other actors would, could relate I... to that. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. liberating in a way. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. It's and like a healing process. Tell me you're so into me that I'm the only one you will see. It's a healing. And thank you for doing Kino. You, you've done Kino for like, this is your fourth Kino, I think. Or fifth. Fifth Kino. Number five. I believe so. I think I so. Counted. It's great. Thank you. I, so. I love that you do what you love. Mm -hmm. Yay. 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 I'm gonna try acting. 
Hopefully yes. some, some point. Emo acting Ella Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> I always knew I'd get killed by a cat. I don't trust them. <laughs> this was the sequel to Fruitcake and the Other Girlfriend, which uh, Stephanie played my girlfriend, and Fruitcake did kill her. Uh, accidentally, kind of. But this was an, it was accident. an accident. It was an accident this time. It was fun. I was coming out of my apartment, my freaky apartment, and having fun with me. You're welcome. Uh, was it fun? Did we have wine? Yes, we had wine. That was why I did it. That's why we did it. Rookie! <laughs> no, 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 no. I got this. Rookie! Hi! It was pretty, pretty easy, but to tell you the truth, I'm allergic to cats, so I was a little no. bit uh, nervous. You're like, it'll be fine. Just cuddle her. Put her next to your face. I'm like, I'm like okay. <laughs> It was funny because we didn't really have like an idea of what we're going for, so we're just like bring it up to a ten, and then then when we saw it, we're like just bring it up to an eleven. <laughs> yeah, that's what we did. Right at the end, she was like, "Oh my god!" He's like, "Just go crazy, or at least I'm like, all just right, go crazy. just letting out all my stress that night." <laughs> we're gonna have so much fun. What can you possibly do with a sock? <laughs> Thank you so much. It meant a lot to me. It was a lot of fun. For me, for you being my film. And, well, a fruitcake film, sorry. Because Fruitcake is the writer, producer, director. I'm not crazy. I'm just saying, have you ever worked with a cat? Then you know, you have no control. <laughs> right? So that's why she gets all the credit. Any questions for Lisa? Of course. What was your, the prep like for becoming a crazy cat lady? What did you have to do? Uh, uh, the the pre-prep, oh, well, I did a lot of research. <laughs> First I found out who the director was, right? And then I kind of looked at his work. <laughs> Anything can happen with a bottle of wine. Anything can happen. It was so much fun. And she was actually in the kitty litter, and that was so much fun. I wonder if she was taking a poop that time. I don't know. Oh, you've been in the for a very long time. I'm taking a shit. What do you think I'm doing? Yes. How do you get your cat do the thing like did he, 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 he she, she i know it's weird because um, she's got my voice hey it's 2022 I, know. I, know. <laughs> I, I apologize for um, assuming your cat's gender here today did did the cat because at the bag of treats and then it was pawing at you like how do you get your cat to do stuff it's it's gonna sound odd but if you see if you look at other fruitcake movies she does amazing things like that uh the thing is is when it's just me and the cat when there's no one else around to distract her her focus is entirely on me. It is ridiculously eerie how she does what I tell her to do. And, and it's important when you work with your pet to not hurt the relationship with your pet and, and establish it as a good experience because then you'll just, you'll just ruin the bond you have in your pet. And it's learning how to work with an animal. Dogs are different than cats, absolutely. Cats are very sensitive to other people around, so you have to be alone with the cat. I'm allergic to dogs, too. Uh, <laughs> Fruitcake, you really gotta stop killing my girlfriends. I know. But to be fair, to be fair, who's the victim here? <laughs> Any other questions? Is, is Fruitcake in therapy after that? <laughs> I have an idea for a third one in the series. You want to hear the idea real fast? Yeah. Okay, so... The first one, she accidentally, it wasn't her fault. She did try to kill Stephanie. It was really funny. You should watch it, yeah. The second one, she really tried to behave, and she didn't want to, you know, she was good. But it was, it was an accident. So the third one is she's going to be like, like the cat who cried wolf. She's going to be like, I'm totally good. I'm dull. I'm not killing anyone. My next girlfriend's going to try to kill her. And I won't believe her, right? <laughs> so we're going to have to find a third girlfriend. <laughs> Sorry. What? 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 She's okay. yeah, she doesn't care. For those who don't know, Kino is all over the world. It's like, yeah, it's the thing that everywhere. Everyone, everywhere. It's been going on for like 25 years in like the most remote places. Wow. I, know. I have no idea. It means like cinema. It's a pretentious term. I freaking hate it. It's... But it's really important to know uh, that. Yeah. What what it means because people will often ask, what know. is Kino? Is it lottery or something? It, it just literally means cinema. In, in a couple languages, like, I think I agree. This is cinema. I saw it in Czech. Yeah. In Czech, yeah, in a couple. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, I just want to say how impressed I was. This was a really good group of films, I thought, in particular. And I have liked every single Kino 
that we have done. I really love seeing the diversity, but today there was such diversity and yeah. so much impact, yeah. so much humor. Things I thought, I feel bad for laughing at this. I feel bad that this baby is going down the stairs and I'm finding this hysterically funny. And then it comes to the end and I'm like, that had an impact. Like it actually had something to say. Like yeah, I've just been blown away. So I'm just really impressed with everything that everybody has contributed to Kino. And thank you. Please keep it up. Please keep it up. Thank you so much, everyone.